I'd like to impart some words that I've always lived by. Mo money, mo money, <laughs> mo money. <laughs> I don't have a problem, all right? You had a problem. All right, I remind you of where you came from and what you used to be. Now, I don't know, somewhere between Princeton or the office, you got soft. You forgot who you are and where you came from. <laughs> you think you're so wise. Look at me when I'm talking to you. Let me tell you something, son. I grew up on the streets just like you. I encountered bigotry you could not imagine. Now, you have a nice poster of Malcolm X on your wall. I heard the brother speak. I read every word he wrote. Believe me, I know where I come from. You actually heard Malcolm speak, man? That's right. So before you criticize somebody, you find out what he's all about. Ashley's not in a room. I'm right here, Daddy. I was just in the kitchen getting a snack. We were just in the kitchen. I mean, the kitchen in the pool house. The pool house is being fumigated. Oh, where am I? Oh, what am I doing down here? Oh, I must have been sleepwalking. I better go back to my room. Ashley, you've already lied once tonight. Let's not make it a habit. Oh, Daddy, none of my other friends had a curfew. If I came home at 10.30, everyone would think I was a baby. You have to realize that I'm growing up. Sweetheart, I am your father. It is my job to protect you. It's a job I refuse to quit and at which I can't afford to fail. I'm sorry. I won't do it again. Of course you won't, sweetheart. Because you're grounded for 10 years. 10 years? Well, whenever you move out of the house, whatever comes first. I don't want you taking our car downtown to some pool hall. You can't do this to me. Aunt Viv! Ooh, she's gone. <laughs> That's right, Will. No one can hear you scream. <laughs> Come on, Uncle Phil. Look, just because you don't like pool halls doesn't mean that I shouldn't go. I mean, you're just trying to make sure I don't have any fun. Your only source of pleasure is making me unhappy. That's not true. I have my wine collection. <laughs> Dad, I know it seemed foolish, but I had to show him that I had the courage to survive down there. Courage is being the way you are no matter what anybody says about you. Will teases me. But you don't see me going, yo, 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 homie, yo. There's something I need to tell you. What is it? Those pills that Carlton took, um, they were from my locker. What? Look, Uncle Phil, I was just keeping them in case I needed them. How could you be so stupid? You know you shouldn't be messing with drugs. Look, I know, Uncle Phil. I mean, somebody gave them to me at school. I mean, I didn't mean for Carlton to take them. I, I didn't even know if I was going to take them. I'm sorry, Uncle Phil. Sorry? My son could have died because of you. Look, I know, Uncle Phil. That's all I've been thinking about. I mean, look, you got to believe me. I didn't mean to hurt him. Yeah, well, you did. You hurt him, and you could have hurt yourself. I know, Uncle Phil. I mean, but look, I had basketball practice and, and school, and I was at work and everything. Oh, oh, welcome to the real world, Will. That's not an excuse. It's never an excuse. You owe this family an apology. I ain't never having no kids. Well, now, Will, as much as the idea of your reproducing scares the hell out of me, <laughs> I think you'll make a great father. I mean, everybody makes mistakes with their kids. The important thing is to admit when you're wrong and to apologize. How come you'll never do that? Don't question me. I'm sorry. I, you know, if there was something that I hey, could Hey, you know do. what? You ain't got to do no, nothing, Uncle Phil. Hey, you know, ain't like I'm still five years old, you know? Ain't like I'm going to be sitting up every night asking my mom, when's daddy coming home, you know? Who needs him? Hey, he wasn't there to teach me how to shoot my first basket, but I learned, didn't I? Hey, I got pretty damn good at it, too, didn't I, yeah, Uncle Phil? Did. Got through my first day without him. Right? Mm. I learned how to drive. I learned how to shave. I learned how to fight without him. I had 14 great birthdays without him. He never even sent me a damn card. To hell with him! I ain't need him then and I don't need him now. Will. Nah, you know what, Uncle Phil? I'm gonna get through college without him. 
I'm gonna get a great job without him. I'm gonna marry me a beautiful honey, and I'm having me a whole bunch of kids. I'm gonna be a better father than he ever was. And I sure as hell don't need him for that, because ain't a damn thing he could ever teach me about how to love my kids. How come he don't want me, man? In the future, I hope you'll do what I say and not what I did. Now, even though it felt good hitting that jerk tonight, <laughs> really, really good, I was wrong. Sometimes what feels good is wrong. Yeah. <laughs> Everything that feels good is wrong. Everything. Do you understand me? Yes. Why are you worried so much about your image? The, the truth sounds real good to me. I don't think my mother will ever forgive me. Oh, man, you must be tripping. Gr Granny's great. J just explain it to her. Will, there's something you have to learn. Sometimes parents just don't understand. You OK? Yeah, yeah, no, no, I'm cool. I'm cool, Uncle Phil. You know, it's just when I first came out here, you know, I was a relative. I mean, for the past six years, like, we, we've been family. <laughs> I just don't want to go back to being just a relative again. I mean, I live without a father and without brothers and sisters and all of that. I like this life better. I want you to call me on Sundays, too, you know, when you're calling all your other kids and everything. <laughs> Look, um, I love you, Uncle Phil, and I, I just don't want to lose you, you know, any of you. You're not going to lose us. You are my son, Will. End of story. You just better be sure that your butt is by a phone on Sunday. You got it, man.